never too early to identify a kid. Uh, there's no harm in identifying a kid that you would want to follow, keep your eye on, um, you know, and, and maybe down the road once he gets into high school, uh, enters into his freshman year, then then maybe consider making an offer or, or at least taking a closer look. But I think of college coaches, you know, at that young age, you're just looking for something that stands out, something that maybe is, is uncommon. Um, so it could be a kid who's – who's tall and, and lean and lanky and just needs to fill out. It could be a kid that already has some arm strength or already has some pop in the bat or already has, you know, really good speed or really good defensive action. So I think for a kid to get noticed at a young age, he's probably got to be an outlier among his peers uh, for a college coach, at least to take notice if the kid's not even in, in high school yet, but you know, speaking to a bigger picture, it's not a race and everybody's, you know, going at their own speed. And I know that it's, there's a lot of, uh, of a intrigue and excitement to want to make that decision early, but would want to remind all the players and all the parents that this is the biggest decision of the kid's life up to this point. So it's, it's gotta be the right one. And the way you make good decisions is you get a lot of information and that always includes meeting people face to face, shaking their hand, looking them in the eye, setting foot on that campus, walking around, you know, and just trying to get be a little bit more thoughtful and intentional with this decision because this is a life decision.